Hey, Josh, Jack here. Just wanted to uh, answer your question uh, as thoroughly as possible. You're absolutely right that um, you have been lucky in the past for word of mouth. Uh, ideally, we want to have a strategy in place to be always hiring. We talk at some of our events around the clinics need to be the mindset of a recruitment induction and training institute, not just a clinic. And so I want to give you some insights here. Let me scribble a couple of notes if you've got a, uh, if you've got a few moments. Let me flick over to this screen for you here now. Um, awesome. So what you want to think about when it comes to hiring and your ideal team player, is, what are their characteristics? Uh, the ideal team player, which is a concept from Pat Lencioni, is that they are um, humble, hungry, and smart. And so they're the key characteristics of the ideal team player. But beyond that, who is it that you want? What skills do they have? Uh, you want to know them intimately. So, you know, uh, are they a new grad or, you know, do they have three to five years experience, which dictates how old they are, which uni did they go to? Um, you want to be thinking about what are their uh, past experiences? Have they worked in sports previously? Um, have they been in hospitals? What type of experience do you want these practitioners to have and then you want to think about where do they spend their time because we know that generally speaking the ideal team players the ideal practitioners the ideal physios that we're looking to hire uh, are probably not unemployed right they're probably employed because if if they're if they're the best, the cream of the crop they're probably working somewhere and so we need to get in front of people and interrupt their consciousness to find the best ones. We want to interrupt their, um, their train of thought because when, if you're just posting an ad on Seek, for instance, who looks on Seek generally? It's the unemployed. And we don't just want to settle for unemployed. So looking back over who is our ideal team player like, or what are the characteristics of the person that we're after, we then need to work out well, where do they spend their time? Are they on Facebook groups? Uh, Facebook groups. That's really common. And things like uni groups, things like APA groups, things like uh, MSK type learning groups, things like uh, personal development, like I Move You is a fantastic place to find these people in those Facebook groups. Uh, where else do they spend their time and or attention? Uh, you might be going along to local in-services. Um, you might be connecting with them on LinkedIn and building out those relationships. And then beyond that, beyond the organic networking uh, free type options, you then want to be thinking about, well, how can I target them? And things like Facebook ads are fantastic because we can target people that are, you know, aged, let's say 25 to 30 years old. They live in a uh, 10, let's say 10 kilometer radius. Um, they went to X university and their interests are around, you know, things like say the APA, um, maybe it's a journal like BJSM, etc. And we can target an ad and that ad needs to speak to them, it needs to pique their interest, right? Um, and we want to make sure that we are speaking their language. So it's piquing interest. So get really creative and specific with the images that you're using and the copy or the words that you're using. So I hope that's useful uh, there, Josh. I want you to be thinking about, if we come right back up the top there, who is the ideal applicant? You know, you've mentioned someone that they, they want to work in multidisciplinary practice. They've got to be able to pick up a caseload. So get really clear on who they are. How can you interrupt their train of thought and think beyond just a job listing? Because job listings usually is where unemployed people look, usually. So maybe it's Facebook groups. These are great places. Beyond that, you can actually network and one-to-one -one build relationships and see if you can help find opportunities for people to progress their career and solve their problems. Really, recruitment is solving a physio's problem or solving a practitioner's problem by providing them a solution. And that is employment that meets their needs.
And then beyond networking, really think about things like Facebook ads or Instagram ads, LinkedIn ads, how you can target age, geography, studies, interests, and get really, you know, uh, Gary V would say that the variable is the creative. Creative is the variable to success. You can do all the targeting you like, but unless that ad it, with the images or the videos and the copy speaks to the ideal applicant, uh, then you're going to fall short. Now, beyond this is a whole system of recruitment around filtering applicants, group interviews, one-on-one -on -one interviews, setting up um, setting up training periods, etc. a zero to 100 induction process. All those uh, need to be part of your process when it comes to hiring uh, because just hoping that it works out is rarely a good strategy. So I hope that's been useful for you, mate. And if anyone else has found this interesting, uh, reach out and uh, if you need any help, just give us a shout or jump in the comments. Super guys, have a fantastic Arvo.